hard reset. What just happened? Oh man, we <laughs> were in the studio so late last night, or actually, I guess early this morning. I don't think we ended until uh, probably close to 2 a.m. It was a really good conversation, really good time, but oh man, some of us have to work in the mornings. So speaking of the morning, um, so I woke up and saw um, futures and pre-market uh, securities trading was just, man, it was in the toilet, still kind of in the toilet. Um and then I clicked on the news um, and then I see where Russia has actually uh, in the process of what looks like taking back Ukraine. Um, and unfortunately, this is not going to be a very uh, popular opinion of mine by any means. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, Ukraine has had over seven years to avoid this. Yeah, it, look it up. Um, and I've been talking about this for, for a while now. And you know what? So Kiev, they, uh, they signed an agreement. Well, they made an agreement with Russia and France and Germany was also involved in this agreement and they decided to ignore it. So yeah, I know this is not a very popular subject and it looks like Russia is the big bully here, but Russia is simply doing what they said they were going to do. Um, if this agreement was not followed, um, and of course, I don't, I don't even know what the U.S. is even thinks they're trying to do there. The only thing I could possibly think of, and again, this may sound like a crazy person talk from my tinfoil hat, but um, you've got the the president and his family. They are directly involved with some pretty shady deals going on in the Ukraine. So. Uh, man, there's just so many things that's happening there. First of all, I think uh, U.S. should probably just simply stay out of it. Um, Russia, they have, man, I'm just flat out. They've been asking for Kiev, Ukraine, France, Germany, everybody to honor this agreement for over seven years now. And unfortunately, um, Ukraine and their government, they They've ignored it. They've put it off. And so now, unfortunately, they find themselves in a, a war. And again, uh, the, the Donbass region has been continuously shelled and attacked by Kiev. So what, what do you think is going to happen when you do this? If you keep poking the bear, the bear is going to wake up one day and the bear is going to attack. The bear is actually going to take over his territory. Um, you build your house in the forest. Guess what? If you build your house there, you have to deal with <laughs> the wildlife that was there before you moved there. And unfortunately, and I, I know you got people in Poland, uh, Syria, other countries that, especially Poland, um, I mean, they could be next. Um, Russia could come knocking on the door at any point in time, and say, Hey, um, we want our territory back. So yeah, it's a very complicated war. And I think it could have been avoided had all the parties that were involved with this simply did what they they said they were going to do. I, I, I know I'm really I'm dumbing this down so much. Um, and part of that is for our U.S. viewers, not saying the people in the U.S. Are, are stupid, but unfortunately, the news that we get in the U.S. is so it's pushed to one side. Um, the whole story never gets told. And even at times, uh, things get fabricated and lied about. And you know, that's just, I'm sorry, that's just facts. So that's why I have to, unfortunately, dumb things down and strip them down and make it sound really simple when it's really not that simple. The, the thing going on in uh, Ukraine right now with Russia is not simple at all. It is extremely complicated. Um, but unfortunately for uh, a lot of our viewers, um, cause they're going to watch, uh, ABC, they're going to watch CNN. They're going to watch, uh, I mean, even Fox right now. I really, uh, this year I've, I've watched some of, uh, Fox newscasts and they seem to be more on the side of neutral and just tell the story. But here lately they've been kind of, um, pushing a narrative themselves. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, that's very unfortunate that happens. So, um, yeah, I'm, 
really bad what's happening in the Ukraine right now, but at the same time, it all could have been avoided. And I really recommend that um, before any of you make up your mind or make it a decision, um, just simply look at the Minsk agreements, which I know the Minsk uh, agreement is kind of out the door, but at the same time, uh, the Minsk agreement is what allowed Russia to do what they're doing right now. And again, it could have all been avoided. And again, I know, I know I'm super dumbing it down, but sometimes you kind of have to do that. But all right, that's all I got for right now. Like I said, I was up way too late last night, like 2 a.m. Then I had to get up at 4 a.m. for the market open. <laughs> and the market is, ooh, it was in a free fall. It was just, ooh, really bad. But to be expected with what everything is going on. So, yeah, um, Hunter Biden laptop. Check that one out. Just. Uh, yeah, there's there's many things there that just yeah, not looking so good. All right, that's all I got for the moment. And thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, stay safe.